Hi everybody, welcome to KEXP, welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for being here. My name is Derek Mazzoni and I am the co-host of a show called Wopop. It's on Tuesday nights, um, 7 to 10 p.m. And it's a show that I've been doing now for over 30 years. It's amazing. The artist that we're interviewing today and who's graciously performing at the KEXP studios is somebody that I have been uh, playing for a long time. I've been utterly mesmerized by her story and her ability to create a transcendent state with her voice and with her um, presence. I'm talking about Yinqing Lamo from Tibet, and she's here right now at KEXP. You're going to love this. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. Wherever you are in this world, maybe you're in a car, maybe you're having coffees, maybe you are somewhere in this planet. I appreciate your listen and support. Uh, thank you for everybody here. This place, it's also created as magic. When I say magic, it's the energy. I talk about more energy and then uh, other things. And thank you, uh, Derek. Thank you so much. You bring all these artists who are, if you're not, if you're not here, many people maybe want to be, share their gift. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So we have a song called Sound Healing. If you like or if you believe in this moment, we can recharge ourselves and also we can send love 
unconditional love to this world. This world needs unconditional love. If we look at oneness, not about religious, not about politics, we as a one. It's very simple. We're breathing in, we're breathing out. So, we are one. you are, we can dance together and send flowers to the world. You can dance. This pandemic made us together. We all went through this together. We're not able to go out and dance, move. So now is our time for us to use the body to offer it to the higher beings.
beautiful work. Thank you. Yingqing Lamo on KXP. Thank you so much, all of you listen. Thank you. Thank you. This song called uh, Four Wishes, mm -hmm. my mother always say, when you got up in the morning, don't run like a bird. Appreciate that moment we are breathing. That's all we need. So, when I crossed the Himalayan mountains, I never thought to be here with you. Thank you for everybody's love. This world needs lots of love. We need to love each other. Not because religious, 
not because politics. We're all the same. They doesn't need anything. They just need your hug. Just say hello to them. That's all they need. Just say hello. Especially the older ones. Just say hello. It doesn't take long time. Hari 
Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ying Cheng Lamo on KEXP, where music of the world matters. Ying Cheng, thank you. Um, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. And it's a really interesting time, um, especially in Seattle and the United States and worldwide, obviously, for your message of unconditional love, for your message of understanding, for your message of connecting, how we are all one. And I wanted to ask you a couple of questions on that, because obviously I know a bit about your history. You're an immigrant. Mm -hmm. You were born in Tibet. You walked across the Himalayas to go Dar Salaam. Yes. And then you moved to um, Australia, where you started singing. You, yes. you, um, you won the ARIA Prize, which is a prestigious award. Yes. And that started your career. And then you started working with Peter Gabriel, Annie Lennox, and others. You did a project with our Seattle's own Reggie Watts also. Yes. And uh, with Hector Zazu, the late great producer from Belgium. You've been in this space, working with different artists, creating a, um, a career, singing in Tibetan, representing Tibetan culture, representing Tibetan history. And at the same time, that connection of humanity I know a bit about what you're doing right now in upstate New York, and you're, you're not just waiting for, you know, you're, you're actively engaging in your faith, in a belief system in humanity. And the reason I'm bringing this up right now is that there's so much conflict going on. Obviously, it's always been conflict, but it's visible right now. You're seeing images, my children and others are seeing images, and it's making them forget about the humanity the humans in this space. It's just, it's horrific. What is your music? What is your message? How can you help them to see the humanity? Mm. Um, for me, um, I just, uh, I believe if individual, if we're taking responsibilities, uh, also, I think if we, we humans uh, understood that life is the most precious and also if we understood really what life means what are we doing here you know instead of we say my religious my politics and my this and my this i think sometimes we as a human being uh, I am not a scholar or anything or healers or special ones uh, what people think i am not uh, I am very uneducated person, but my heart is, I think, uh, uh, we practice the purest. We look every sentient beings more than us, and also we are connected. I think this makes a uh, little bit different than many uh, places. Uh, maybe in Tibet, people maybe doesn't know the technologies, uh, some other things, yet, uh, but they know uh, what we're doing for this moment. Mm -hmm. You know, for us, if we eat food, we're offering all sentient beings to give them, you know, say uh, they wish have have this food. And then if we walk, if we're doing anything, we don't say this is my job. We don't look this as a job or earning something for us. It's really, it's more offering. Mm -hmm. So when you come to an offering state, it's not about you go to some place and say, uh, you put all your money there and say, all my sin is wa washed out. It's not this type. It's just really basic. Uh, every moment you can offering, walking, cooking, talking, especially mm, if we have the body, mind, s speech together. So then I think when we say it, we can also think thoroughly instead of, you know, say some silly words. Uh, like an example, uh, uh, when I met, uh, the reason I went to made this song called You Are Beautiful, I'm Beautiful, 12 years ago, I really, uh, so to say, not traveling and not make music and... Uh, the reason is America is the biggest, biggest country. 
to me, what I mean at the biggest, I'm not talking about land, I'm not talking about object. The biggest, we all came from around the world mm -hmm. and we took a different journey. The reason we come here, we want to do things, we want to make this beautiful. So even this culture is new, but people who come here, the culture, they brought the culture together. And so in that sense, to me, like myself, we give up, so to say, life. You know, when you're taking across Himalaya mountains, you don't know when you survive or not. Mm -hmm. Many people did not make it that journey. And uh, these days also people are try to find different journeys and uh, have very difficult. But uh, in that sense, I think now I live here and then I must serve for this where I live. I don't think, you know, here we, if I hate around me, and then if I cross some mountains, I want to give love. And for us, I think uh, we think that is a little bit difficult. You know, we need to love near you. Mm -hmm. And this is really a practice. It's not really about become a religious person. And to do kindness and to acknowledging that they are suffering. I think this is not a politics, not religious. You know, if we imagine that person is me. So when I went to that uh, place, uh, I just look at them, they are me. Not I Yang Chen go there, mm -hmm. I Yang Chen special, I Yang Chen won the world, or uh, I don't look that way. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I just think this is this person is me, I am them. Why? If we really look at life, it's very, very s simple. Mm. We don't talk about politics or religious, we're all breathing and breathing out. So the minute you cannot breathing in, you are another side mm -hmm. life. Mm -mm. So in that sense, I really believe this coming back for me is a celebration of life. Uh, the pandemic teach us everything is not you know always there the same. So any minute can change, and therefore we lost many 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 people in the world, and. Uh, so we did this journey together. Yes. So in that sense, for us, you know, we can really take this moment to celebrate and to appreciate where we are, what do we have. Of course, life is always its obstacle. It's not our ways. It's only my way. Then I think maybe it's a little uh, boring. So, you know, we have a different culture. Of course, there are many things it's uh, uh, not so right. And I think there are lots and lots of people like yourself and like all of you, we want to leave something uh, to the younger generation uh, to leave a legacy. Do you say legacy? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, I think this one drop of kindness Kindness doesn't mean really you bring amount of money or something. Kindness, the minute we up, we wish that all sentient beings today mm -hmm. live peacefully and not separating this and this. Over the all, you know, the, if we look simple, if we look at the sun, sun never separate. Say so you are this. I'm not shining to you, or you are need to be not shined. Sun doesn't say this. The moon is the same. So we also similar this. Since we have the life, we all like to live happiness. We don't want to be suffering. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, I think, uh, yes, my wishes, if you get some inspired or uh, you can look your own spiritual life, and at the same time, we respect the elderly. You know, we came from elderly. Uh, the elderly made some journeys, something like this.
Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank I have you. to say, though, that your music, I remember seeing you at the WOMAD Festival in 1999, and I had just heard you. You were creating a presence in that show that affected everybody. No, there were a few people there that understood Tibetan, didn't know much about your culture. Their ideas of Tibet is that everybody's a monk. You, you created an opportunity for people to just kind of understand each other. And it was this connection that happened that everybody suddenly knew something about themselves. And you were that, your voice was that connection. And that was one of the reasons I was so excited about having you here is that you're one of these rare spirits, shall I say, that is channel and transcending that. And I feel that right now, even the fact that you've now finally released a new record is like, it feels like something's calling you to continue to do this. The fact that you're running a shelter for the homeless mentally ill in upstate New York, you are doing the work and you continue to do the work. And I thank you for being here and I thank you for sharing your gifts with us. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you, I see you tonight. And we have show tonight, tomorrow, Phoenix. Then I have three shows, four shows, New York and Los Angeles and Santa Barbara. Absolutely. So thank you so much. And also this vinyl, it's pink. I was very surprised. And I have here John, 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 John produced this John, CD. John produced a new record. One Drop of Kindness. So let me ask a quick question, John, John. Yes. You're working with Yun Ching Lamo. Um, renowned artist uh, has worked with so many amazing, amazing producers and artists. What was your mindset when you went into making this record with her? With Young Chen and with any artist, I think the job of a good producer is to hopefully understand and communicate who they are in a way that people can digest and appreciate them. So... Young Chen uh, is the opposite of a diva when you're with her, if that's possible. She's coming in and she entered the door of my studio, didn't look at me, looked through the room into space and said, I will record my next record here. I've never had that happen. Mm -hmm. And it's not a typical thing for anyone to experience. And um, having spent time with her in the studio and now traveling, touring, it's the way she works. She just she's a sort of channel and antenna of energy and follows that. She's her compass is some kind of grace and uh, inspiration and energy that she she follows. So it's incredible actually that everything technically is going so smoothly here today because when we're dealing with this type of energy, mm -hmm. anything can happen at any moment and does usually. Um, chaos ensues in the most perfect way and the outcome is always ideal. So in answer to your question, I'm just open to uh, being a channel for her and uh, her hands and her instrument. I don't even know if she understands what she's doing and um, I can't pretend to. We can just sort of do our part to share what we appreciate and acknowledge perfect. as being powerful, energetic and bringing us together. Perfect. Thank you. That was a perfect analogy. Thank you. Young Chen, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you, Curtis you. Andrews. Thank you, John Alavizikazakis. Um, the new record is out on Realable Records, One Drop of Kindness. You're on tour right now. I want to thank everybody for helping put this together. This is a this is something I've been waiting for for a long, long time. But thank you. Uh, this is KEXP 90.3 FM all over the world at KEXP.org. We're a nonprofit arts organization. Please continue to support us. Check out WOPOP and, um, and continue to uh, keep the faith. Thank you, and thank you so much. We came unexpectedly from Vancouver. We performed last night. And uh, thank you. You are being here with your energies. Thank you. Thank you, thank you everyone. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.